Welcome to How to Create a Word Scramble Game on Scratch, brought to you by the Nutley Robotics class. To get started, you want to title your code. Once you've done that, you want to delete your sprite and select a new one that you want to use in your code. I'm going to use this one, and I'm just going to delete all of the ones that I do not want and only keep the one that I'm going to use. Once that is done, you're going to choose your backdrop. I'm going to be using the blue sky. I'm going to go to my backdrops, and I'm going to delete the extra one. Now I'm going to use the circle and I'm going to choose three different colors and put the circles on the bottom of my backdrop. Once my three circles are drawn, I'm going to create a square at the end of the three circles, and I'm going to make this in a different color. Your backdrop should look something like this. Now you're going to go to your character and go to costumes, and you're going to duplicate this one. Then, you're going to make the sprite look like it's jumping in the air. Once you've done that, it's going to look something like this. You're going to use this costume at the end of the code. Right before you start coding, you're going to want to change the size of your character. So it fits the screen like you want. I'm going to change her size to 60. Now you can start coding. The first block you want to use is the when flag is clicked. Then you're going to go to motion. And you're going to drag your character to the start location that you want it to go without touching any of the circles. You're going to drag in a go to X and Y block under the flag, click one. Then you're going to go and scroll to see point and direction 90 degrees. And you're going to go to looks and switch costume to the first one of the character just standing. These steps are so your character resets when the game starts. Then you're going to go to control and put a wait two seconds block. Then you're going to go to motion again and put your character at the middle of the first circle and put a glide one second to that location. Then you're going to go to sensing and put an ask block under that. And you're going to type the first question you want to ask the game player.
So this is my question. Since this is a word scramble game, I put whatever word I'm going to use and I scrambled it up and I put the first letter of the word capitalized to give um, a little hint. Then I'm going to use an if then else block and I'm going to go to operators and use the equal so then I'm going to go and put an answer in the first section of it and then in the next one I'm going to put the word that is unscrambled Then I'm going to say correct for two seconds. And then in the else one, I'm going to put a repeat until. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it right in that section. And then I'm going to go to looks and say incorrect. For two seconds. And then I'm going to ask again the same question so that when the player plays the game, it asks the question again, so they get another try to answer it. Then, at the end of the if, then, else, I'm going to say correct. two seconds. Then I'm going to put my character in the middle of the next circle and I'm going to put a glide block right under that. And then I'm going to repeat these same steps two more times but with different locations, um, colors, and questions. Once you've done the next two sections, you're going to do the last part of the code. You're going to put an if then statement and then if color is touching and then you're going to go to looks and you're going to switch the costume to the first one so it shouldn't change then you're going to wait one second and then you're going to go to looks and switch it to the second costume of the jumping then you're going to copy this and duplicate it and put a wait one second in between and after and now you're going to want to play it and make sure that everything is correct.
Once you are all done and you've checked your code, this is about how long it should be. And now your word scramble game is done. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and turn the post notifications on. Thank you.